just fresh off the series with the Iowa Wild, just take me through how you saw that series play out for you guys. Yeah, one and one. It's kind of tough losing the first game of the the uh, weekend, but uh, we try not to lose two in a row. It's always a goal, so um, just try to go go back and win the second game, which we did. So we're happy with it. What sort of adjustments did you make in between the two games? Obviously, you guys came out a little more fired up, I think, after a loss. But what sort of changes, I guess, did you see in your team's game between the two? I think our biggest emphasis on those meetings were um, face-offs, what to do uh, face-off losses and face-off wins so that we're all on the same page going into the game. Um, face-offs kind of start start off the play, so you want to start with the puck, and if you don't, everyone's got to be on the same page. What can you also say about the special teams in that unit as well? I mean, there's obviously a lot of penalties both ways in both games, but it looked like the power play and the PK were both very strong. Just what did you see from those special teams units? Yeah, I think game one, we it was a big special teams game. We lost that one, so that was part, partly an emphasis on the game two. So um, we came back, and power play did well, and penalty kill's been good all season, so... It's looking good. Can that be kind of frustrating at times too, though, with so many penalties? That kind of disrupt the flow of the game for you guys. Just how difficult is that to overcome at some points too? Yeah, it can be frustrating. It's up to you know everyone to be uh, take it upon themselves to stay in the game and be ready to go. If they're not in the penalty kill or they're not in the power play, um, so sometimes there can be lulls in games where it's just back and forth special teams. So um, you got to be able to you know be mentally strong through those. What can you say about this forward group, too? I mean, we talked even last season about how deep this team is at some points, but now there's some internal competition, a lot of NHL contracts here as well. Is that healthy? And I guess, does that help push you guys, too, a little harder? Yeah, I think it's good. I think it's good we have some internal competition. Uh, and also, what did you like about your own play this weekend? Obviously, it was a great uh, little while for you, too, as well. Just what did you think about your own play? I really liked my game all around. Um, there's some scoring chances I saw in game one and game two that I didn't capitalize on. So those are some things I'm trying to see in practice before and after and uh, focus on so that I, next time I see those chances, I'm ready for them. What do you also notice about Jansen Harkin's game as of late too? Obviously, he's a guy who spent last couple seasons up in the NHL and now obviously you're working his way back up. So what have you seen from his play as of late? I mean, he's just such a refined player already and he's still developing. So um, the fact that he's down here playing the way he is is you know pretty crazy and he's just, he, he works hard, and like I said, his game's refined. He makes the passes on the, on the tape. He catches every pass. Uh, he's always talking on the bench. He just, he just knows how to be a pro and how to, how to play at a pro level. So he's, he's someone that you know, anyone can go to, and he's, he's in your face letting you know what, uh, what he thinks and stuff like that. So it's, it's, it's good to have someone like that on the team to kind of see what he knows from playing in the NHL for so long. So I'm sure he'll be back soon.